Ready? Bye! So welcome back to Map TV. I'm Miss Jocelyn and did you guys miss me? Because I missed you guys. But anyways, today we're going to be working on straw rockets. How does that sound? That sounds real fun, huh? But first, before we do this, you have to ask your parents for permission and or to help you out with this. Make them do it with you. It's going to be super fun. It could be like a little competition, but you can do it yourself. Trust me, it's real fun. We're going to start off with the vocabulary words, so because we got to get you guys educated, right? But our first word is going to be force. Force is a motion of push or pull to make something move. So if you push the door closed, if you pull it, you know, you get the idea, right? The next one is going to be gravity. Gravity is a force that causes things to fall from Earth. So if I get this tape, that was gravity, okay? So next, uh, I'm going to tell you what you're, you're going to need for supplies. Sorry, guys. I'm a little tongue twisted today. You're going to need some balloons a straw or two, however many you're gonna make, some tape, scissors, and then a piece of paper. You don't need, this part is optional, but you can get a piece of paper because we're gonna decorate it like an airplane, okay? All right, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna grab my straw and a balloon. I chose these two, okay? And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off the tip of the balloon, okay? So it's easier if you put the balloon all the way down to the scissors because I guess it's sharper. So, yes. Just cut it. Then you can put this aside and throw it away. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to grab your straw. You're going to put it inside of the little open spot or space that you have. And you're going to tie it around kind of-ish. And then you're going to tape it. Okay? So it doesn't go anywhere when you blow on it. Go like that. I'm gonna need an extra piece of tape. We're almost done guys, it's super fast, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is get the piece of paper and then I like to just cut off the corner. Like that, so it's like a mini triangle. And then I just put it in the back of the little straw right there towards the end but make sure you leave enough space to put your mouth so like up here maybe grab another piece of tape and if you want you can decorate it too with markers or something it doesn't matter it's up to you and you're gonna tape it just like that it's kind of crooked but you get the idea right <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to blow on it. So you might want to do this to the balloon first because it can be a little hard when you blow on it, trust me. And when you do it, some of the air might go back into your mouth, so just just be prepared for that because it's a scary feeling if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so I'm going to use my pink one because I really like pink. Remember, if you don't remember, go back to the other video or something. So I'm going to just grab that one and I already put the little wings on it for the airplane and then I'm going to blow the air into it. And then when you let go of it, try to make it fast, it's going to blow in your face, but it's okay. Just make it fast so you could hold it down with your thumb so it could stay big, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're just going to let go and then that's it, okay? Ready? Bye! So now that that part's over, the next thing are going to be the discussion questions, okay? So the first one is going to be what happened to when you blew into the straw? What, what, did it go back into your mouth? Did it not blow up as big? That's up to you and if it didn't, try to stretch it out a little bit and it's going to be easier because it can be a little hard. The next one is going to be, did it work? Uh, some didn't work like this one. The straw was too thin and the balloon was too big so it didn't really fly super high. So it's okay. It's normal. You just have to try it again and think of new ways to make it work. Okay? And then um, the next one that you're going to ask to yourself is you're going to do it one more time. And then you're going to count how many steps it took for you to reach the balloon. Okay? Whether it was a million steps to half a step. You just do it, and then if you want to improve on it, you can just do it multiple times like an experiment, okay? 
and then again if it didn't work just be innovative so that means think of a new way to make it work because you can always make it work okay you guys have the power to do that all right have a good one guys i'll see you next time have fun and be safe okay